How do you feel about retirement? Over the past month or so, especially over the past two weeks, I've been placing a few videos on YouTube about retirement, simply because I've been retired for 28 years and I'm pretty happily retired. And I only found out recently how so many people worry about what it's going to be like. Have they planned enough? Have you planned enough? Do you think about retirement? Whatever your age is now, maybe you are already retired, but in the early part of it, the first two or three years. Or maybe retirement's coming up in the next few years or even months. This is where you begin to think, well, will I be able to manage? Now, I don't intend to talk about the monetary side of it. I don't know much about that, except I retired on a very modest superannuation income, which is paid quarterly. And I'm talking about hundreds of dollars, not thousands, plus a full old age pension. I live here in Australia. I own my own home and have no big debts and am in good health. So these, I think, are the requisites for at least starting off in a retirement. But the most important part of our lives, all of it, in fact, from the moment we're born till the moment we die, is how we feel about things. How we feel. Do we feel secure? Or do we feel fearful? Our thoughts, our primary thoughts come from only two directions, fear and love. So many come from fear. But if they come from the other direction and we're feeling secure, then we can launch into the things that we really want to do putting aside the anxieties and the worries because you will probably be retired for a long time if you're just starting off or you haven't started yet. The average age of people in the Western world now is well over 80. But people are retiring in their mid-50s to early 60s. So this can give you anything from 20 to 30 or even plus over 30 years in which to live. And most of that, if you look after yourself, you'll be fit and well. These could be the best years of your life, the most productive, the most satisfying, the years when you can have, have learned things, gain wisdom and can hand back. It's one of the pleasures, I think, of being older. As we shed our egos, our self-images, we become more of what we really are. And this is what we can give away to others. The joy in life comes, I think, from the feelings we get. Especially the feelings we get when we do something we love and we know it's benefiting other people. One of the reasons I do these retirement videos of late is so many people respond and say they got something out of them. Some little idiom, some little snippet of wisdom which has helped them in some way, encouraged them. And that's my intention. Your intention in retirement stems on your own feelings. Go with your feelings. They are your inner unerring guidance as to how you should conduct your life to live a happier life. Feelings, so important right throughout life, especially though when you're coming up to retirement or in the early part of retirement, where do you want to go? Where, what are your feelings tell you? What are your feelings asking you to be, to do, to have? 
to conduct your life. Feelings, so very important. Just feel how you feel about your retirement.